What does Islam say about taking up loans living in the West to buy apartments to live in when they are so expensive to rent here? I would like uh, all of you to comment on that one. What was the question? We were not paying attention. Yeah, taking, taking <laughs> riba, riba loans to buy apartments in the West because it's so expensive here, it's so difficult to rent. Can we do it, Sheikhs? Shiuch? Let's start with Sheikh uh, Haytham, inshallah, and we would like some comments. And what is the punishment for that in the Akhirah? Okay. Uh, Bismillah. First of all, the scheme that is known as mortgage that is applied here in Europe or in most European countries as well as in America, it is a RIBA-based system. It is a RIBA-based transaction, usually based transaction or interest-based transaction. Why? Because you go to the bank and you ask the bank to finance buying a property. So the bank will transfer 100,000, let us say, dollars to the bank account of the landlord, and then you will pay the bank this money, the $100,000, and, and a surplus or and an interest. So you will pay it back as 125000 so you have taken from the bank $100,000 and you have paid back $120,000 over 20 years or 15 years. This is known as mortgage. This is exactly the interest-based transaction or the riba-based transaction because the Prophet ﷺ defined riba as money exchanging money for money. In other words, he said, exchanging money for different amount of money, whether now or later. So if you exchange 10 uh, krona for 15 krona, this is riba. If you change 10 krona for 8 kronas, this is also riba. Now, as you know, that riba or interest-based transactions or usually based transactions are one of the major sins in al-Islam. They were listed as one of the major sins in Hadith Abi Hurairah, and the Prophet wasallam cursed the one who consumes riba, gives the one, the one who gives riba. Also, the Prophet curse, uh, curses the one uh, who writes the contract of riba, and the Prophet curses those who witness the uh, contract of riba. So it is a major sin. Now, major sins cannot be committed due to a necessity, due to any need. Major sins cannot be committed due to any uh, need. There has to be a real necessity, compelling necessity to commit not all of them, even some of them. For example, I always say to people who ask this question, if a sister came to you and she said to you that she has some debts, which is a case that came to me in the Islamic Sharia Council. A sister came and she said she had, that she had so many debts and she wants to work for a man and she told me, and this is very strange, she told me that the man said to her that you will work as my personal assistant and sometimes you might need to travel with me and sometimes you need to maybe stay with me at very uh, late moment uh, at night, and sometimes when we travel, you may stay with me in the room. I told her, so basically, he wants you to be his slave, and he wants to sleep with you and to have haram with you. She said, yes. And she said, can I do this job in order to pay my debts? So the question is, can we say to the sister, it is allowed for you to sleep with a man, to have zina in order to pay your debts? Can we allow this? Sheikh, I'm you, asking you. You said one and a half minutes, Sheikh. Okay. So if that is not allowed, riba is not allowed as well. It is a major sin and we have to be careful. 
The second point before the uh, one minute and a half to finish is riba is not a solution. Riba will add to your problem. You will put yourself into bigger problems if you deal with mortgage. Yes. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. Do we have a question from the sisters? Okay, I think Sheikh Saeed has some comments. Now, before, I know a lot of you may be hearing a lot of issues concerning interest. I just want to take it down from one step to the lowest level that we can understand the, the, ser the seriousness of this issue. As we know, as a Muslim, the only sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wage war against it is the riba, is the interest. فَأَذَنُ بِحَرْبٍ مِنَ Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, prepare to wage war against Allah and his messenger. So it in the Quran is haram. In the sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is one of the, the, the most destructive, destructive sins. In the sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in a hadith that has been more than uh, dealt by more than one scholars, is the issue of comparison, comparing the interest with zina and interest. And I know even though some of the ulama may have some issue with the authentication of the hadith or degrading the hadith, whether it's hasan li ghayri or hasan li dhati or sahih li dhati and whatever degrade. But one of the hadith that it states that committing one, or having one dirham or one dinar or one whatever currency that you use is worse than committing 36 zaniya, fornicating 36 times. I guarantee you, if your, brother, your sister or your mother or your daughter or someone tells, tells you, I committed zina today only once, most of you will cut them off. Now imagine if, they, if one of that is equal to 36, and if some of the narration that says in Mecca and some of the narration inside the Kaaba, so this issue of interest is not, is not a, a simple issue. The second thing is, I just want to conclude this. The second thing is, a lot of you, knowing that the messenger of Allah said, is worse than committing zina 36 times, is worse than committing zina with your mother, is worse than committing zina with your mother inside the Kaaba, yet you will go out and you will find fatah with that saying, mortgage a halal. And you say this madhab or this sheikh said this or this sheikh said that. And what I want you to understand is these shiuch that you like to follow them in this aspect on the day of Yawm al Qiyamah when as Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu said, Allah will give you a sword and he will say, Go fight Allah and his messenger. These shiuch that you like to shove, a lot of people like to shove their fatawis, they're not going to help you on the day of Yawm al Qiyamah. So we stick to that which is clear and plain in the Islam, which is usury or interest is not allowed. Mortgages are not allowed in many levels. And I know myself and Sheikh Haytham al-Haddad, we try to simplify this and we mention the minimum that should be mentioned. But again, just keep in mind, the only sin that Allah said will, war, will wage war against it is interest. No.